Who's the babe? That is one of the most beautiful women in the state. Blood of our people is upon you, Mr. Jennings. What is it, Lars? It's oil. Oh, thank God. Acclaimed actress and filmmaker Joan Chen became a fixture in Chinese cinema long before achieving fame in the United States. Born in Shanghai as Chen Chong, she was discovered at age 14 by the wife of Chairman Mao Zedong and was selected for the state-run acting school in 1975. I had to go to the studio then to be tested of my verbal ability. I recited a very long mouse work called Serve the People in English because even at that age, I was somewhat into English, and they were shocked. They didn't know what I was talking about, but uh, they were very impressed. In only her second leading role, for the 1980 film Little Flower, Joan won the Best Actress Award in China. By the time she was 17, Joan was a movie star in her native country. Time magazine dubbed her the Elizabeth Taylor of China. Joan's parents, both medical doctors in Shanghai, won a fellowship to do research in New York and made plans to bring Joan to the United States. In 1981, Joan began her first semester at the State University of New York at New Paltz. Across the country at California State University Northridge, physics professor Paul Chow was helping a colleague in the history department arrange a Chinese film festival at CSUN where two of Joan's films would be screened. Learning that Joan was in the United States, Professor Chow decided to take a chance and invited her to the festival. So I found a telephone and I called. It was a dormitory telephone. And they have to call, said, Joan, 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 Joan. And then finally she came to the telephone. So I introduced myself and I said, we're having a film festival of Chinese movies. Could you come? And she didn't even ask what her role was going to be. And she said, it's so cold in here, I want to get out. <laughs> so, so she said, yes. While visiting the campus, Joan expressed interest in transferring to CSUN and eventually enrolled as a radio television film major with the assistance of Professor Chow and then President James Cleary. In China, Joan was a movie star, but in America, she was an unknown until a chance meeting with movie producer Dino De Laurentiis led to Joan being cast in a lead role in the film Taipan. In 1987, she gave a vivid portrayal of the tragic life of Empress Wan Zheng in Bernardo Bertolucci's Oscar-winning saga, The Last Emperor, finally achieving widespread international recognition and solidifying her place among the world's top actors. She also starred as the enigmatic Josie Packard in the 1990s David Lynch television series, Twin Peaks. It took me 10 years to finish my bachelor's degree. After I was there for like two and a half years in Northridge, mm -hmm. I started working in films. Yes. And so I, I kept taking incompletes, or I would go back, take one mm -hmm. class. But I, I am actually today, I feel very proud that I stuck to it. Joan has also gained recognition for her work behind the camera as an international filmmaker. She directed, produced, and co-wrote Xiao Xiao, The Scent Down Girl, which won seven Golden Horse Awards, the Chinese Language Oscars, for Best Film, Best Director, Best Script, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Music, and Best Production Design. Very delicate, deeply emotional, poetic movie. We all wanted the person who made that to make our film. Joan's second effort as a director was MGM's Autumn in New York, starring Richard Gere and Winona Ryder. Joan lives in San Francisco with her husband, Dr. Peter Wee, and their two daughters. She's very much considered by 
the young people in China and also the Chinese American youth here in this country as a very fine role model and very inspirational. I know a lot of young people uh, came here to study. They want to pursue the same successful career cross-culturally, become successful both in the United States and in China, like she has done. Congratulations, Joan. We feel so proud of you.